guys, Dark Recycled FPV, and I was asked by a customer to go over the uh, HDR, the F722 series board with the uh, USB-C uh, connection. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Um, and basically, we were addressing the issue of the LEDs uh, on the LED tabs, like in the, sorry, let me clean up here. The LED ports right here uh, that are on the board uh, do not allow you to program right beyond it. I'm trying to see, is my bat straight now? Oh, darn it. Come on. Straighten up. There we go. All right, so they do not allow you to program, uh, right, the LEDs uh, using the standard LED uh, setup in Betaflight. So I've got Betaflight ready to go, and I'm actually getting the USB-C cable ready to go, uh, which should be right here. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I had to do, and I, I told them there was, it would work. Unfortunately, when I spoke with uh, HDLRC, they did indicate that um, the uh, software is not allowing it, so here's what has to happen. So I'm going to open a new LED right here. Okay, and then I've got one where I've already cut the wire. So here's the workaround, and pretty much the only thing that you can do at this point is um, you're gonna have to pull from the LED itself. So let me show you what I did here, okay? Uh, I did take, uh, and you can use the plugs, um, but here's how you would do it properly. I mean, the only it's pretty much the only way you can do it. And let me just grab the right tools I need here. First thing is, I'm going to take the uh, yellow cable, which is a signal wire, out of the, uh, out of the uh, plug, okay? So let me just, I'm gonna get something sharp to pull the tab back just like that. And we are going to remove uh, the signal wire here. Okay, and you could cut it, but I don't. I don't like to leave anything in a spot there. So let me just pull it out, there we go, okay? So here's what's gonna happen. So on your LEDs, you're gonna have your input and your output, right? So you have your out and you have your in. So we're gonna go to the in, and we're gonna plug in our cable right here, all right, just like that. All right, now we can take the um, uh, plug and we can still plug it in like normal. The only difference is at this point, we must have a way to get from here to the LED pad, which is right here. So let me go ahead and remove that LED pad. Uh, I'm gonna remove this wire real quickly. And I'm gonna take all these off, okay? Because we don't need to do that. But if you're gonna run more than one LED, uh, obviously most of you will, um, I'll show you what we would do normally. I thought I had another one laying here. Uh, and I guess I don't. So uh, let me see how I want to do this. <laughs> I did. Hold on a second. Let me look again real quickly. But it's either way, I can show you exactly how we would do it. <clears throat> so here's what I would do. Um, the idea now is that we're going to take a wire. You can find any wire. And for me, I just cut one of mine off here. Uh, so I'll use this, I guess, if I need to. Um, so you'll take any wire and you will basically go to your LED pad. Okay, so let me just cut one. I hate to waste a good wire. Let me, here, I'll cut this one. This is a decent wire I can cut. So I'm gonna cut this yellow wire here, okay? Just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and strip that wire real quickly. Okay, just like this. And I'll tit it up real quick. I already have my soldering iron ready to go. So I'm gonna tit this up. Okay, just like that, just like that. And then, uh, I still haven't got that blue tack yet. One of my customers told me to get that, that that would really be great to hold the wires in place. So I would just use my healthy cans for right now. Okay, so this is gonna be a pretty quick video, I think. We're just gonna knock this out real quickly. So I'm gonna tin out both sides, just like this. There's one, there's the other. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and the way this is done, I'm just gonna solder this as a central point for all the wires to attach to. So let me find my uh, tweezers, the good ones that I like to use, which are not in front of me right now. Okay, well, I'll use these ones then. So we're gonna take this wire and we're gonna to go to our LED pad, which is on the board right here, okay? So we're just gonna go straight to the LED pad like we normally would if we didn't have the plugs. And we're gonna go ahead and just get that on there, okay? So we have our common wire now. Now this wire will attach to all four of the LEDs. So you can still use the plugs, right? But you're gonna have to have a common uh, area here for all of them to attach to. So I'm gonna actually make this a little bit longer. Let me cut that and make this a little bit longer, just like that, all right? And then let me tin it up. <clears throat> just like this, okay. And then I have another LED right here. This is sitting down. So um, 
one is going to be plugged in, and I guess what I'll do is I'll just uh, wire the other one. Okay. All right, so let me just plug this in. Okay, and it would be the equivalent of wiring it. I just thought I had two ends. Let me see if I can find the other end of these. going to fit, but if it does, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, it looks like it does. That's going to the, that's the out, so we go to the in. Okay, and that should be the same pattern. Let me verify, and it's not. It's actually reversed, so that's not going to help me either. All right, yeah, so that's not going to work. Well, just kind of Follow and hopefully you'll see what I'm trying to do here. So it should give you, it should yield you. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to. I'm going to look for this cable if I can find it. It should yield you the same results. Uh, do I have a cable? No cable. Okay, so maybe this one. Ground is on the outside. No. no. Ground is on the outside here. All right, let's see. Oh, ground is not on the outside. Oh, here. Uh, this ground. Oh. Tell you what. I'm so sick of these multiple cables. This one, ground, positive. Now this is probably, we go to the input, input here. And of course, it's not gonna work either. So, okay. Well, I'll just use the one that came with it then, okay? So here is our cable. And this is if I was to cut it entirely, okay? So I did the same thing. So here, I just, instead of plugging it in, now this is if you just have standard LEDs, sorry guys, I was trying to really find the cable, but I'm not sure what I've done with it, but let me fold this out. I'm gonna give this one access to the direct five volt here. So we have a ground and a five volt right next to each other, okay? So let me do that. All right, there's the five volt, let me get that on there, okay? And here's the ground. So unfortunately, HGLRC is saying now, obviously there's nothing you can do to get these to function. They are asking what functions you'd like to see. They may program it into the button, or what would be nice is if they actually just released the software to program the LED um, if they're gonna use proprietary. So I'm gonna see if they'll do that uh, and allow us to do it, perhaps, on our own. All right, so I'm gonna tin this third wire, okay? <coughs> Let me go ahead and do that. And I know I'm flying through this because it should be pretty simple. Um, let me just go ahead and tin this up. Okay, there we go, take that out. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a combination of uh, getting all these three together, all right? So I'm going to link all these up as one common area. Okay, and I'm gonna, just gonna try to solder it and hopefully get them to stick just long enough to show you guys what we're looking for. Uh, I got everything but this short one here. Small one. There. Okay. So now we have two different ways to connect these. We can use their port with the power and ground, but you cannot use a signal. Or you can just connect directly to the 5 volt. Okay. It's your choice on how you want to do it. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're going to plug into Betaflight. So let me go ahead and uh, switch that over. There we go. All right. So let me do that. I have not upgraded to Technology 7. I don't care right now. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and attach our LEDs. Our being our USB, okay, and then I will also plug in the LiPo directly to the flight controller, and you're going to see it get kind of bright, I think, pretty quickly. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have the Larson scanner on red connected or set up for that LED pad. So here's what you do: if you want to bypass the button, okay, but still use the plugs, I guess then you would you can go this way to the plugs but just remove your signal now i did try to just basically try to jump from the led uh straight to the uh signal and it didn't it started shorting it out so that's not a way to go either so what you're going to do is you go to your led strip now i'm going to clear all these so let me clear all selected and go to wire module let me clear all these clear all wiring and click save okay and that's going to basically disable all our leds and so you should be seeing something i'm going to disconnect and then reconnect go to leds Okay, and you see it's not here. So what you're gonna do is go to wiring mode, 
you got four LEDs. Now these are not gonna work separately. No matter how you do it, they're all gonna work together. So you just set up four. So make sure you hit, uh, sorry, let me quick escape here. Uh, let, me, let me get out of this. Go back to LEDs. Okay, so you have to go to wiring or wire ordering mode, okay? So put one, two, three, four. So it's gonna go from zero to three. Those are the LEDs. That matches the four LEDs on your strip here, okay? And then you can get out of the, that and just highlight the ones that you want right here. And just what I did is I put the Larson scanner. So I'm gonna drop down to function and go to color. And I'm gonna go to Larson scanner and I'm gonna pick this time, uh, let's pick a blue, okay? And I'm gonna click save. And at that point, you'll see that it's activated as a Larson scanner. Both of them are going the same, okay? The same would apply if you were to disconnect it and run them in series together, uh, going from the output to the output. And if I had a stupid cable, I would show you what that looks like, but I don't, so sorry. Um, <clears throat> I don't know where my cable went. But anyways, that's the only way. As of right now through HTLRC, this is the only way to still kind of, I guess, use the plugs if you want to save not having to solder the five volt and the ground. Uh, so let me do this real quick. Okay, so again, what I was saying is, this is the way HLRC said is right now the only way to get the LEDs to function outside of this LED button up here. So if you plug it in directly and you leave the signal wire and the power and the ground all together and you plug it in, you're going to get from their choices only, okay? But if you want to use their cables to avoid having to solder, let's see, it's eight wires, right, the positive and the ground for eight of the wires, then you could plug it in and just remove the yellow and get it to where you can junction all of them together to the same LED pad and you'd be able to program them like this. I know it's not much, this isn't rocket science by any means. <coughs> this is pretty simple and I apologize, I was hoping to make it better than that, but unfortunately they did confirm that that is changed and you cannot program it. Um, but hopefully they did ask if we'd like to see something change in that and I am offering that as a suggestion to them. All right, guys, very simple, quick video. Sorry, there's nothing more to it than that. If you have any questions, please use our Facebook group, uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash cyclofpv. And then as always, please follow us on Facebook and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate the support very much. Other than that, have a great week and weekend and spend time with your family, guys. You don't know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it. All right, we can fly later. God bless, guys. Talk to you soon.